after going to Google Photos on a browser, in order to delete all the photos and videos in your Google Photos, first you will need to select all of your photos and videos. To select all of your photos and videos, first select the first photo or video from the top left corner. Then you could see a blue check mark and then slowly and slowly scroll down using your mouse wheel. Warning, don't drag the scroll bar on the right side. Otherwise, Google Photos will skip and not load all the photos. So continue scrolling down using your mouse wheel. And once you get to the bottom of your Google Photos, where you could see your last photo, then hold the shift key over your cursor over the last photo. Then you could see the color of all the photos changed. And now simply click on the last photo. And now at the top left corner, you could see how many photos and videos are selected? For me, it is around 6,280. And now that you have selected all the photos, you should be able to see the bin sign on the top right corner. Click on it and then you will get this message, which is very important. It basically says all of your photos and videos will be deleted from all of your devices. So, for example, if you have got Google Photos backup turned on, on your phone will also get deleted. So once you're happy, click on move to bin and now you should get the message saying moving your number of photos and videos to bin and if you have got thousands of photos and videos it's gonna take a while so be patient and finally you should get this message these many photos and videos move to the bin and once you refresh the page you could see it has freed up so much storage and now google photos is empty however you still got the chance to recover your deleted photos by clicking on bin and the item Items inside the bin will be permanently deleted in 60 days. I strongly recommend you to watch my video on how to download all of your photos and videos from Google Photos as well as on how to delete Google Photos without deleting from phone. You can find the links in the pinned comment. If you still have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.